Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circuit Brood War Remaster. Today it's going to be Mini and Shuttle here on Vermeer, top of right. It's going to be our barcode player Mini, and on the bottom left, it's going to be a blue Protoss. Not a barcode, but under a Smurf name, nevertheless, it is Shuttle. So, Shuttle loves his shuttles, we know that, but PvP is full of shuttles, man. River drops, storm drops. Archon drops sometimes, but not often. A lot of splash damage, a lot of zealots. Dragoons are the backbone of this matchup, but what matchup are Dragoons not the backbone of, man? Dragoons are so good in all three matchups, especially, especially against other Protoss players. If you have Dragoons and the other player does not have Dragoons, boo hoo hoo! That player is in so much trouble. Maybe unless they went Mass Reaver. Mass Reaver against Dragoons of equal equal value. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what would come out there. Somebody should test that. Anywho, no cannon rushing here today on this four-player map, Vermeer. Just gateways coming up. Shuttles is a little bit ahead. Here for minis. And yeah. Early Zealots, not very good, but I'm just going right into Dragoons are these both players. There we go. Gas being taken to line up with the Cyber Core and the Gateway and making Dragoons. And a little bit late here. There's a little bit of a different build order here from Shuttle, but virtually the same thing. Yes, yes indeed. Virtually the same thing. Scouting Probe. Here from Mini, scouting to see where on earth his opponent is and what on earth they are doing. Okay, Cybercore coming in from both players at about the same time. Again, Mini's is a bit later. We are making a Zealot. Like, just in this is like kind of a making a zealot just in case an enemy zealot shows up kind of a thing. If it's like a two gate weird pressure thing and you don't have anything at all when this first zealot shows up, you're in trouble. So, you're gonna make a zealot, but you're not planning on doing much with it, right? Maybe sending it out to scout, maybe setting it at the top of the ramp to deal with the scouting probe. Yeah, both players are just playing that right now, but nobody went two gate. Both players are, you know, just playing it standard here. Dragoon production has begun from both. And you can mineral walk through this dude, right? It's trying to get him to move though. Hold on. Actually, oh, you have to be able to right click on these minerals to mineral walk through. And you can't, cause you can't see them. Got it. Tricky, tricky business. Okay, Dragoon up, bouncing around back behind the Zealot. Dragoon up. We're going to send the Dragoons across the map. We're going to fight. It's going to be 1v1 Dragoon versus Dragoon battle here, folks. Who will win? Usually, whoever gets the first hit off wins these things. But sometimes high ground can come into play. Sometimes the 1 in 256 chance that you'll miss a shot on low ground with no obstructions against a, feather ground, uh, against a fellow ground target. Oh, he didn't get the shot off. He like... What? His eye opened, and he was going to shoot, and then he didn't shoot. What the heck was that? Ooh, that's a miss. Yeah, but he took the first hit, and he's like, oh, well, that sucks. But now uh, there are uh, there's a probe here trying to get some extra damage off. Okay, wow. But then uh, there we go. Then another Dragoon comes over, and two versus one means the two win because that's basic math. Robotics facility coming in from both players. Definitely for Reavers, but also for detection purposes in case somebody's going DTs. DTs in this matchup can be really, really damaging. You really don't get cannons in this matchup all that much early, at least. Uh, so your detection options aren't super great. So, getting a Robo, getting an Observatory, going for scouting, even if you're not just detecting anything, just scouting the enemy is also extremely good. So, so far, everyone playing it safe. No one's doing risky things. No one's getting punished for taking risks. No one's getting rewarded for taking risks. Just both players living in the same world. Both players getting observatories at the same time. It's just the color. The color of what they're wearing is just different all. OK, 
Okay, probe gets sniped on the way in. He might... No, oh, I don't think he got deep enough to see that Nexus. He doesn't know about the expansion. But if you take a general account of the Dragoons, you can kind of figure out if there's an expansion or not. But maybe you'll hide your Dragoons inside the main base so the enemy can't see it, right? And there's the support bay from Mini. Shuttle? Shuttle's getting his too. Okay, both players have chosen their method of violence, and it is Reavers today. If you like Reavers, you're going to like this PvP a lot. <laughs> there will be... A lot of reaver shots. How well they'll connect, where they will connect, what they will kill, what they won't kill. These are questions that will be answered as we continue to watch this PvP and see how it will turn out. See, whose expansion is faster? Oh, God, they are so close to each other. I don't even... Yeah, I mean, I think shuttles is a tiny, 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 tiny bit sooner. As his starts the warp in animation now. And his starts it just a second later. Yeah, I mean, not even a second, maybe. Okay, so we're even. 28 to 29 workers is virtually the same thing. Reaver high ground, worried about getting dropped. Shuttles are on the way from Mini. And shuttles are not on the way from Shuttle, which is a little interesting. He usually gets shuttles in his games. Not that he has to, but you know. Okay, so both players continuing to macro up here, maybe trying to deal with potential drops, getting high early warnings by putting pylons here, pylons here, maybe throwing a pylon down here, or getting just a third nexus down here. Yeah, this is pylon for early warning purposes, no big deal. Shuttle speed, ah, there we go. Now our guy shuttle is getting his shuttles. All right, so this is going to come down to Dragoon Shuttle Micro. Whose is better? Mini's very good at this. Shuttle's been doing it longer. So it feels like Shuttle should have the advantage here, but Mini is very, very good, and I wouldn't be shocked at all if Mini was able to win this game. So let's keep an eye on it. First seven minutes have been pretty bloodless. In fact, I'm sure nothing has died yet. There have been a couple shots off on a Dragoon, but it lived. Right? There's an injured Dragoon in this group. Yeah, this guy. This guy has seen battle, but his shield's regenerated and he is ready to rock. Meanwhile, none of these guys have taken any damage? Correct. Yeah, all of Mini's Dragoons are pristine. It's the only advantage he has right now. He's down on worker count a little bit. Observer parked up here to see if any shuttles try to swing into this area. Dr uh, Reaver defending the natural base, too. Oh, there we go. Mini's got a shuttle sharking around out here, but there are two Dragoons sitting behind this mineral line, making it hard to get in here without taking shots. <laughs> He's just poking in, poking in. Doesn't like what he sees at all. Maybe goes for it. Goes for it, man. Takes a shot, takes another shot, unloads the Reaver, gets a hit in that mineral line. Big time connection. That was about seven or eight probes that went down. They're going to unload, and oh my gosh, more probes are going to die. No! Why should have the Dragoon? Probes are better. Oh, but they're running, and that is a dud of a scarab. That could have been so much better. The hit in the natural base was killer, though. That was extremely good. And now Shuttle is way on his back foot. Down workers, big time. Both players are on two bases. Maybe get a third base earlier to try to compensate for the worker deaths you've received, but... Reiki, that was huge. And it comes back around. Scarab again. Complete dud. It's the nature of the Reaver, man. Sometimes it's the end of times. And sometimes it's nothing. Like that. Just nothing. Ah, that was better. <laughs> Ooh, Reaver and Shuttle die, though. Okay, that's big. Look, if you're going to take a bunch of Reaver shots to your probes and get knocked down to 36 probes to 49 of your enemies... You better kill that shuttle and that reaver to try to even the odds here because that is horrendous. That is so, so, so much death. Okay, third base coming in probably from any here. When you're ahead, get more ahead is what Day9 says in Game of StarCraft. Reaver shots connecting. Getting some damage there. Oh my gosh, the reaver versus reaver stuff today. What did we say? We knew this was 
that's what this was going to be. Y'all, they're trying. They're both dodging scarabs with shuttle pickups, guys. That is pretty rad, man. Dude, shuttle actually on the offensive here. He's got a big time army. Keeping his own shuttle alive is going to be a big deal. He's taking big time rear hits from Mini, though. Got to watch out for that. Bam. Reaver shots on anything that gets close in there, then falling back, waiting for the cooldown to come up and getting a shot again. A Dragoon for Shuttle dies. Oh, two Dragoons for Mini die. A Reaver gets wiped out, picks one up, not the second one. And one of the Reavers on Mini's side dies too, but he's got Defender's Advantage. He's got the ability to get Reavers out to this front a little bit more quickly. Yo! Ten minutes into this thing, and this has been intense. 53 to 42 worker. Shuttle is still down big time. Can't be happy about that. Maybe he can supply block Mini by killing these pylons? Actually, no, maybe it's close. Do the math. I can't do the math. I'm streaming. Actually, more pylons came in, so no, definitely not for Mini. He's too smart to let those pylons death supply block him. Dead nevertheless. Okay. So, look, a contain is good as well as long as you're expanding, but, uh, shuttle's just kinda... Just sorta hanging out here. He's not expanding, he's not pushing in because he can't. And he's just continuing to make Dragoons. I think that's a mistake? I don't know. I guess maybe this is to slow the advance of Mini's army down to the bottom left side of the map because he is outnumbered, he's outgunned. No upgrades on Mini's side of things and no upgrades uh, in production for either player. So, zero zeros across the board. Ooh, Scarab damage is on the way from Shuttle though. That's an upgrade for sure. And Mini is now the aggressor. Oh, good snipe on that shuttle. Lost a Dragoon for it, but definitely worth it. Now that Reaver is ripe for the sniping. That's a big deal. That Reaver dies. I'm not sure that pure Dragoon can do this against a Reaver setup here from shuttle because again, defenders advantage. They're gonna come in from all different angles and snipe the enemy. There you go, Reaver dies along with two Dragoons thanks to Reaver shots here from shuttle. This is great. This is an RJB replay. Be sure to check him out on YouTube. All right, reverse shots. High ground positioning here from Mini. Big deal. Running. Running now. And that damage upgrade to the Reavers here from Shuttle are very good. Mini wants to take a third base, it looks like. But at the same time, he's like, oh, the worker count. He's caught up. He's caught up in total worker count. Was there a drop up here? Has Mini been at 46 for a while now? Did he stop making probes or was there a reaver drop of some kind that was awesome? Nah. Did Shuttle just catch up? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a look. Hold on. Hit the like button if you haven't already. 46. 53. Ah, here we go. Yes, there was a reaver drop, by golly. And that's it right there. Okay, man, so you just, uh, you're just sitting out there the whole time. And he managed to do that. Okay, and then this all happens, and then he loses the workers, and that is the impulse for him to get out here and get some work done. And then he loses the shuttle, which totally sucks, and then shuttle takes advantage of the enemy who doesn't have a shuttle. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's why it's 47 to 46. Shuttle killed some workers to make up for the fact that he lost some of his own workers. Okay, good. Everything's fine. Minnie's still a bit worried about throwing up a third nexus there with the army sharking about here from Shuttle. Okay, 
Okay, Reaver Connections getting hit here. Obs get sniped. Big deal. Vision for this high ground is especially important. Is Mini deciding to go the other... Is he going for a base trade? Dude's going for a base trade. Okay, well... Oh, uh, you can definitely kill Mini's third... No, he decides to swing back around. His third base is essentially forfeit here. And look at Shuttle pulling back to the high ground saying, Hey, yeah, come up here, man. Come miss some shots while you're trying to kill me. How's that sound? I mean, he's like, crap. But then, a full surround on the right side by Mini. Reaver shots going up. Really good stuff. And a good surround here by Mini. It looks like he's going to wipe this whole gosh darn thing out. Okay, he lost his third. Yes. And there's some probes transferring over there for the third base that doesn't exist yet, which is tough. But he just wiped out Shuttle's army, man. Shuttle from Shuttle. Ugh. Probe hits, man. Probe hits man. Well, might as well defend ourselves. And no, we cannot. All right, so two Reavers for Shuttle die. It's 48 to 39 workers. This is intense. Yeah, Shuttle's been thinking about getting a third base here. No, that's probably not happening. Ah, 104 to 88 supply. Shuttle is up in overall worker count and in army value. Third base trying to come in here for mini. Shuttle's not going for it. And I... Ugh. Is it a mistake to go for a third base? It is so touch and go in this matchup. Like mirror matchups, when to expand is a fairly tricky thing to try to figure out because by nature, if you go up on your opponent, you're taking a risk. Whereas you kind of know how many bases you need to have versus your opponent if you're a Zerg, right? You want to be a base up on your opponent. So taking a base before they take their base is not a big deal. I mean, taking on one pass, that is definitely tricky. So like, if you already have three bases to your opponent's two, taking a fourth base before they get their third is like, uh, am I doing this wrong? Okay, third base coming in down south here from shuttle. Third base for Mini, warping in two. 39 to 47 workers, both players sending probes down. Good scout here from Mini to see that this base does exist. He's going to steal some of these minerals. Maybe. I don't know. Scarab for probe. Good trade. Always a good trade, folks. Here goes nothing. Mini coming in. Might get sandwiched a bit here if he's not careful, but no. Shuttle's all on the right side here. Good. Ugh, I think that hit, actually. Yes, it did. These probes transferring out of here. 126 to 122 supply, 38 to 37. All the damage that's been done today just put us into an even position here at 16 minutes, which is kind of exciting, actually. A plus one attack is done for Mini. Plus one attack's on the way from Shuttle. Not quite there yet. I do need to see... Reaver. Ah, okay. So Mini does have the Scarab damage upgrade too. Dude, careful with these Reavers, man. Yeah, don't go up there by yourselves. That's not how you want to do things at all. So both players on three bases here at 16 minutes. Saturation levels are about the same now that these probes transfer in from Shuttle. Upgrade advantage then for Mini with plus one attack on the plus zero, zero, zero that Shuttle's rolling with. He's got a plus one attack coming in, but it's very late. He's getting a Citadel. The thing about adding a bunch of Zealots in, in a PvP, it's good if unless your enemy's got Reavers. Because Zealots clump up together, they take massive damage from the Reavers constantly. They kind of die too fast. So Zealots in a pitched battle against a Reaver army, not good. Zealots on a bit of a run-by up to a base like this might be pretty impressive, actually. So we'll see what he does with... I'm, I mean, I'm assuming this is going to be speed lots. It could just be going for Archons, which are pretty good too in this matchup. If the enemy has Zealots, though, so... Mm, what are you doing with your Citadel? Why do you have it? Are you using it for a Templar Archives? You want to get Storm in addition to the Reavers? I don't know. It's a lot of gas to go for both. But now that you're on three gases, maybe it's affordable? Mini coming in again. Again, Vermeer's got all these high ground spots. So Mini perches right on top of one. Reaver shots galore, folks. This is PvP at its greatest. <laughs> Just sending volleys and volleys of Reavers at the enemy until they all fall down, Mini. Oh, no. We got Reavers into the third base. 
Probes. Uh-oh. Massacring Mini. Trying to hold it off. Reavers. Trying to get in here and shut this thing down. But four Reavers inside your third is bad news bears. Trying to snipe one of these shuttles as it flies out. Okay, holds on. But now it's 26 to 38 workers. The Reaver drops on both sides have been good. But did Mini get the last laugh is the question here. Reavers high ground. A desperate shuttle attacking into the high ground position. Both players have the plus one attack now. But... Overall supply going to Mini here quite effectively. And yeah, Shuttle's lost all the Shuttles. He's lost all his Reavers. There's nothing left. It looks like we are done, ladies and gentlemen. What a great PvP that was, though. Wow. Yeah, third base from Shuttle is out. No sign of being able to defend that from Shuttle's side. And uh, third base for Mini looks fine. And that's a GG, man. Mini gets the win. And you did the thing again, didn't you? I thought I had to pause it, but you were just done at the exact same time. Anyway. GG! Good job, Mini. He took a lot of probe deaths. He had 38 workers at the end of the game, which is not ideal. That is a number that seems extremely low. Anywho, that was fun. That was a really, really, really fun PvP. Reaver drops, Reaver's glow. No, no Archon today, no High Templar. The Reavers, man, they're the meta. That's how this works. And I mean, it's just who gets that extra Reaver drop off in the situation. And this time it was Mini. He's the one who got the Reaver drop off at the end, took the third base down, and got the win, sealed it. He had the upgrade faster too. The plus one attack was really key there. And at the end of the day, yep, this is, this is what did it. 38 workers. And a win for Mini. Man, imagine having three bases and 30 workers at 19 minutes and getting the win anyway. That's fun. So, nicely done, Mini, getting that win here against Shuttle. 119,000 points, 108,000 points there for Mini. He got outproduced, but he outkilled by a wider margin. Look at that. He got outproduced by like 20 units, but he outkilled by 50 units. Buildings raised, exactly three on both sides. Very fun. And total spent here, time, like uh, 600 resource outspend for Mini. That's how even this game was economically. But look what he was able to do with an even economic situation. It's this. That's awesome. Way to go, Mini. He employed high ground a lot. And I mean, that final battle kind of messed it up to where Shuttle was sort of forced to engage <laughs> onto that high ground. He didn't want to, but he had to. And so that hurt a lot anyway. All right, GG, and that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.